what is up party animals welcome back to another video uh before i hop into the album i just want to give a little quick thanks to you guys for showing support on my last video where i ranked uh the top 25 songs i found this year uh let this let this reaction mark the start of a new year my top 25 album video that i'm going to be doing soon um it's not going to feature any of the reviews i will do up until that point so uh this is the first video of the new smags year i don't know talking about death groups um i am sort of familiar with their sound i do know the money store i am gonna try to analyze these lyrics all right because y'all know me y'all know i love diving deep into lyrics off first listen all right so we're, we're, we're certainly going to be doing that today we're going to see if we're going to see if we can do it because i know mc ride is a pretty complicated lyricist so yeah i'm very excited uh but yeah thank you guys for the support on my channel if you enjoy feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want and uh yeah thank you for being here let's let's dive right in guys i had the studio i went to the studio went to fox studios i had it all and i looked at it and i said this is a bigger jail than i just got out of I don't want to take my time going to work. I got a motorcycle and a sleeping bag and 10 or 15 girls. What the hell I want to go off into and, and go to work for? Work for what? My, I decide who's does what and where they do it at. What is he talking about? Steal the car. I like, his, I like his flow right there. I am the beast of worship. In a time of war time, I'd run with on. Scars like psychotropic signs. The smell of torn. Flesh play dry. Bile swans. The best is fine. Vomiting forth. Flames of love. And older than a team. To pray is to accept defeat. Bow a beast is on the weak. Bow and beheaded by the beast. Bend your own a bitch's leash. Scum is desperate for relief. Just keeps going, though. very intense uh his lyrics kind of followed seems like followed along with a guy you know that was talking in the beginning kind of reckless behavior from this guy uh biblical themes too uh i don't know if he's directly worshiping the devil although he said he's worshiping the flames here so maybe he's just kind of a you know someone that's going to cause a lot of chaos honestly kind of hard to focus on the lyrics you know when there's just so much shit going on with that energy that he brings to the song and the production so i don't know i don't know who that was talking on the skit i'm very curious as to who that was okay track number two is guillotine sit in the dark and ponder how one bit to make the bottom fall to the floor and they all fall down it goes, 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 it it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. I thought I'd you up. Killing machine. They listen to me. Do an end build on the filthy sound you're experiencing. This isn't really a pleasant sound, though. <laughs> nice. Nice. Spread. Okay, let's chill. Oh my god, he's he's starting right away in that next song. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, a lot a lot of mentions of death on that. That last part with the, I don't even know what that was. Those little synthesizers, they, they sounded like, they sounded very sharp. You know, like it, it sounded like a blade. It sounded like a blade like slashing something. I like that song. Not as much as the first song, but let's keep going. Track number three is a uh, spread eagle cross the block. 
You do what? Hit, hit, hit! Wanna be a have no fear comes and goes, man. It's here, no one knows. Feels so weird when it blows through my bones. I got a dose for it. Wanna know more? Cause it's about what I got to show for it. I want some more of this. I want too much. Really needed some cool shit to mob. Like driving down the street to the beat of my blow. Sounds like he is graphically having intercourse with the song. You know, just talking about the love that he makes to it. So I, I think it's an overall positive message. Um, I love that production. I love that guitar. I don't know if that was a sample. So far, that's my favorite. Love that one a lot. And I don't know. I love how the drums on it were scarce, you know, and I was just I was just flowing with that. That was nice. Number four is uh, God, the, the YouTube thing is blocking the track name. So I know you know what it says. I am the god of hellfire. Born of the game. Born the brain of a law that you claim to know be on a down. Who's known when it's game even close to the train? I thought we drop by through trump bombs from the tower. Draw this to make the real world. Pack it real, got loaded with power. Shower the slugs with the power from the war. Much and drum that have come to the power. It's like a part of the beat that I like. I want to hear more. For real though. All right. Um, I feel like I understood that message a little more. I think he's talking to someone here. I think maybe it's about just kind of resisting, you know, the owner of this so-called game. It seems like they come to this person with an offer and then they reject it and then feel bad about the offer. So it seems like a cycle here that they're going through. And then, you know, it's kind of philosophical at the end. He's like, hey, you know, fuck, fuck the future. Like, no one cares about that shit right now. It's a matter. It, it just matters right now. You know, the only thing that matters is right now. I, I certainly did enjoy those those little female vocals that were kind of, that was sort of communicating, talking back to him. You know, so the track kind of felt more of like a conversation. So I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going. Track number five is Tachyon. Y'all hear these drums?
is insane. <laughs> Wow, that <laughs> I, I kind of want to listen to it again. I, I kind of want to listen to it again. I, I might I might listen to it again. Yeah, I didn't get a word of that. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about, but the energy was there. That putting that on during the final the final set. That, I, that oh, that's gonna happen. I feel like those drums on that were helping were helping the track so much, and I love the synth bass that was just that was on that. And you know, his vocals, his flow, his delivery, everything about it was incredible. So perfect song to me. Six is a uh, cutthroat. Instrumental. All right, all right, track number seven is a uh, blink. <laughs> MC Ride does not fuck with the police at all. Uh, I like that line about him. You know, why would you ask me if I'm drunk when I'm pissing in the street here? You know, so he's taking leak minding his own business and the cop has the nerve, has the nerve, the audacity to ask him, sir, are you, are you intoxicated? He's like, no, fuck you. He states multiple occasions in that song that he has problems with them. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that little last instrumental, you know, there was. I'm, I'm not too sure what that was about. Track number eight is Culture Shock. Yo, a stuttering duck would be like You need to vibrate higher. Some background vocal kind of like groaning with suicidal vibes for all you're in a filthy dream about splitting your bitches' ties and touch the unknown eyes, touch the keys that's in your mind. Can't get it. The vibes go on block. Quick culture shock. Quick, quick, quick culture shock. Quick, quick, shock. Fuck the cell. Fuck the cell. You need to vibrate higher so you can capture the opening of the portal that connects this earth of 3D to one earth of 4D or 5D. Going to the, the fuck is she on about? Oh, what a transition. What a trans. Now, the internet wasn't, you know, as prominent as it was back then, but maybe he still found the culture and everything around him as just a toxic virus you know infecting everybody you know we have to we have to qua 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 and uh, quarantine that's what we gotta do we gotta quarantine this virus so we can stop it and then this girl you know makes a point says we need to vibrate on a higher level to maybe escape this virus so maybe she's gonna elaborate uh on this next track and we'll get to the 5d after we kill the sort of bug that's within us but yeah i i like that song kind of you know No, I can get I can get down to this. It sounds familiar. I 
how do you how do you rap on this? Yeah, existential crisis here. That that instrumental was going in a lot of different directions, you know. And I, I'm I'm so surprised that he was able to flow on those drums. I mean, that was just insane. And I I like how he ended that track lyrically. You know, he says that he he would rather off himself, take care of things his own way, than have to blame himself in the end. You know, so he doesn't want. It seems like he does not want to have any regrets here. So hopefully, hopefully he don't. Hopefully he don't. Uh, I like that song a little bit. I rec I swear to God, I recognize that sample in the beginning. I don't know what song that's from, but I've heard I've heard that before. All right, track number ten is uh, through the walls. What the fuck? It what? I feel like more just about wasting time in general of, you know, where we're at in life. Just I wasn't the biggest fan of the instrumental. I was confused about that, you know, 10 into 11 kind of thing. I, I, I didn't even know what really happened there. I don't know what the point of track 10 was. When hot wind is sucked, the mission to get all of the love in a limited amount of time. I can do this and it's done. Like that, we're on our way. Be it acid on the tongue, cocaine in your brain, or some weed that hits your lungs like a runaway train. Hell, so short of ass is showing, and she's looking so you know when you can get it tonight. But there's so much around, let's take your time, do it right. As you keep getting higher, life looks like they're on fire. Soon all that's left of you is your most primal desire. Let's take it, can't take it, must break it, break it off there when I said it. I want it, I need it, need it to make me feel heated. Take it, get take it, let's break it, break it off. Yeah, when I said it, I love the guitar here though. Somewhere, oh, and they promise not to dare. We could do this like an orange in the bowels of air. Whatever, Lucy's hell on me, and the pussies don't smell. Uh. Where's it at? Responsibility's cool, but there's more things in life. Like getting your dick wrote all fucking night. Yeah, yeah. the comics in the air looking like they feel nice. Yeah, yeah. Volcano pussy melts your pita like ice. <laughs> and the drugs got you going back for more cause you're locked. He go, damn, what's the most banging guts that I ever have smashed? If you got it, push it up on me cause I'm feeling that ass. Know what I mean? Where is it at? That, 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 that. Make me feel heated, shake it, can't take it, must break it, break it off there yeah, when I say bitch. Volcano pussy melt your Peter like ice. Does not fuck with that club scene. He is mocking it. That that track felt like twenty minutes. You know he was just going in on in on some of y'all motherfuckers. I love how he also said the bright lights and the club kind of turn into flames. You know, only being motivated by your by your deepest desires. You know, the desires motivated 
by bad things by lust you know so i i like that uh, i like that association right there so i i loved his lyrics during that i love the guitar even though I felt, I felt like that track was long as hell. I felt like he, I felt like he really dragged out that message. But hey, he was he was spitting some facts though. I'm not gonna lie, he was spitting some facts. Track 13, Blood Creepin'. Is this the final song? I think it might be. I like that bass sign. We went from we went from critiquing motherfuckers that go out to parties and do drugs and get fucked up to driving ex very very fucked up on the road. I, I don't know if it ends in death because he said digging graves, so it's a pretty grim way to end the album right there. But, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of left questioning a lot of things, man. I mean, kind kind of ending on a you know sort of cliffhanger. I mean, what the fuck happened to him? You know what what happened to him there's a lot of things i'm confused about i think conceptually i understand it more than i do the money store though for some reason i was able to pick up on more of the themes and lyrics in the second half of this album uh rather than the first half using a lot of words that i wasn't really picking up on you know using a lot of sentences that i wasn't really connecting the dots on you know lyrics on you know guillotine and tachyon you know that i i, I was i wasn't I, I wasn't really understanding as the album goes on i think he has some moments of clarity and other moments where he's just very fucked up. I feel like on that second half about sort of wasting time and having regrets about the things that he does. Culture Shock gave me the most context as to, you know, where this album really is. So, I don't know. I still have so much questions. I don't know. I love, I love the drums on here, especially on Tachyon. That had to be my favorite song by a mile. I appreciate this album. Thank you guys for the recommendation. If, if I'm going to check out more Death Grips in the future, then let me know. This is certainly, uh, this is certainly an experience. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.